broken. So I'm at the giant store in Doshong, giant bikes that is, not, not giant as in a giant big tall guy. And my rear wheel bearings have, uh, have gone and my bike. So I need to get that fixed. So today's photo is probably going to come from somewhere around here. Today's research is Blake Andrews, and he's based in Eugene, Oregon, but I believe he was born in Berkeley. But anyway, so yeah, he's, he's a photographer. Whether he classes himself as a street photographer, I'm, I, I can't be sure, because I don't think he's sure himself. Um, I, I, I saw an interview with him today, which I'll link in the description below. But uh, yeah, so he's, he doesn't identify himself as a pure street photographer. And having looked at some of his images, I would probably agree with him. He, he he just shoots what he wants to shoot, I think. That's that's how I would describe it. And this is his blog, okay, which I'll also link below. Um, so looking at the posts here, he was, he was most active about 15 years ago, 10 years ago. And if we go and look at some of these, some of these posts from here, let's have a look. So he will he will go and um and he dives into all different aspects of photography. Here he's discussing uh Vivian Mayer. Uh, I'm trying to find some of his actual work. Hang on a second, let me find some of his work. This was a thing called Turkey Shoot. This is from twenty fifteen. And I quite like these images, you know, it's uh Is it thanks yeah, it must be around Thanksgiving's time, right? So Thanksgiving. Obviously, in America, they eat a lot of turkeys, so turkeys are not particularly uh, happy when uh, Thanksgiving comes along. This one I like, with the turkey on top of the kid's head, that's funny. And so many cars with uh, with turkeys hanging hanging off them. <laughs> so yeah, so he he's quite an interesting photographer. He does a lot of, um, a lot of, a lot of shooting apparently he he doesn't go without shooting for more than one or two days he, you know he, he shoots a lot very prolific so yeah i would check him out check out his work and just see what you think i i quite like it and i'm i'm liking this process of actually looking at photographers that i'd never even heard of before if you're wondering where i got the list of photographers i literally went into google and i just searched let me just do it now, I'll show you. Okay, and then there's a list here, list of street photographers. And literally, I just copied this list, put it into a to-do app, and now I'm going to go through them, because there's many on here that I don't know. I mean, I, I studied photography, and there's a lot of people on here that I've never heard of. So I'm looking forward to this next year to go through this list and then learn more about all these interesting photographers. I'm going to show you something amazing. Well, it's amazing for here, for Goshung, right? This, this here, I believe, is the only traffic island or roundabout in Goshung. I don't know of any other one. And they should have these things everywhere because there's like thousands and thousands of traffic lights that are useless. This is a much better solution. I like this architecture here. I like how it's got the, the semicircular, there's probably a architectural term for that, but I don't know what it is. Balcony, window, whatever. Yeah, but I like it anyway. Okay, let me show you what I'm shooting right now. This is a, one of the older streets, one of the older streets in the city. So I've got the 
the old buildings here that are kind of lead leading lines down to the new building in the background. I just saw something that's a bit of fun. This. We have a frame here made by this whatever it is <laughs> and then we have the bikes one on top of the other and then some buckets and a plant and this frame kind of makes makes a frame for the photo doesn't it okay I'm gonna show you something pretty cool here right so this this is multi exposure mode so many people probably don't use this but on the GR3 there's multiple exposure mode and we can actually put together different uh, frames combine them into one so I'm going to take a shot looking this way and I'm going to take a shot looking that way and then put them together maybe and see what happens three multiple exposure images now and do you know I really like how these came out it's it was something that I didn't expect I'd do at the start of the day but after watching um, Blake Andrews is his talk you know it it kind of made me realize it's not always all about doing the same stuff you know we can actually mix it up a bit and I've been trying to actually change how I see things and play you know I think part of creativity is, is just playing and see what comes out a lot of Taiwan a lot of Asia is cluttered very cluttered a lot of stuff going on and off it's easy to miss things like this like this beautiful smile have a look at this beautiful smile Here are a few more shots from today and you know it, it actually worked out pretty good in the end. I didn't think it was going to the way it started off but actually yeah uh, I was quite happy with with what I got today. Um, it's, it just shows sometimes you, you, you have to just turn up, turn up and do it. Um, yeah so I, I would encourage you to try the same, get out and, and shoot. Um, and so which one do I want to choose for today for today's image it's going to be this one the reason being that it's a it's a self-portrait it's a multiple exposure that I took while I was in the bike shop actually waiting for my bike to be fixed and you know I normally don't like to see photos of myself I'm not a particularly handsome guy um, but this image because it's a multiple exposure and I quite like how it's how it's worked out because there's there's the bikes. Um, outside, you can see the street, and there's something going on with the, with some scooters to the right, and then there's somebody waiting to cross the street, to the left. You can also see the bicycles that were kind of outside there, and you can see the clothing rail behind me. It's quite it's quite an interesting thing, you know. And and yeah, um, I will certainly be trying some more multiple exposures in the future. Um, why don't you guys give it a shot and just see what you think so do you think I was right to choose this one or did you prefer one of the other ones let me know in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so and I'll see you tomorrow oh and don't forget there's going to be a great episode coming up soon where I go into the user settings on the GR3 how to really use them to your advantage okay see you soon bye